Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Derby County who are another team that need a rebuild like Schalke. So if you've seen the title of this video, it's Rooney to the rescue. So how do you play as Wayne Rooney in FIFA 21 as your manager? Coincidentally, you need to put him on a four and a half star team. So two of these are of course Everton and Manchester United, both of his former clubs. From here, just go into the My Career, play as a pro, choose Wayne Rooney and then instantly retire. You'll have options from all of the championship clubs. If you want to choose one of those instead of Derby, feel free. But of course, this video, we're going to be focusing on the Rams. So this is exactly the same as I did with Klaas Jan Hunslar in my Schalke career mode. So if you want to check that out, feel free. So now you're actually playing as Wayne Rooney and you're actually managing Derby County. What's gone wrong for them this year? Only a couple of years ago, they made the playoff semi-finals and beat Leeds and made it to the playoff final. Lampard left, they got Philip Koku in, who didn't do too well, although last year they did finish just outside the playoffs. This year they started poorly and continue to do poorly, mainly down to poor recruitment leaving them with just one fit striker at times. That one striker being a 34 year old Colin Kazim Richards who's a bit of a journeyman around European football the last few years. Despite this lack of recruitment they have some very good young talent. Recently they sold Jaden Bogle to the Premier League and as much as it pains me to say as a Nottingham Forest fan their biggest rivals, young players Louis Sibley, Max Bird, Jason Knight and Camille Josiak are all way too good for the position they are in the championship at the moment. Combined with record signing Christian Bieliek, they have a very good core to the team. From an outsider's perspective, the problem lies with the likes of Andre Wisdom and Martin Waghorn not being good enough for the championship anymore, Craig Forsyth and Kelly Roos all being pretty average, and the absolute collapse of Wayne Rooney's form. Towards the end of the year, Wayne Rooney was dominating from deep in the championship, until players realised they could just simply run at him and he didn't have anywhere near enough pace to actually pull away from players and give himself any breathing room to pull off the passes he's capable of. I think this is a large part of the reason he's retired because he has realised that his legs have totally gone. Recently they played a game against Chorley from the 5th division of English football and lost because of Covid tests ruling out the entire first and reserve teams meaning they had to play with a under 23 squad. Despite the level they claim the academy is, I don't see much talent outside of these four players I mentioned earlier to get to the Premier League or the Upper Championship really. However, with a man of reputation like Wayne Rooney, just like Frank Lampard did a couple of seasons ago, just a few lone players are needed for Derby and they'll be able to rocket up the league. A new striker, attacking midfield and left back seem to be the priority, so if you can scout Manchester United and Everton and look for anyone that Wayne Rooney might have any contacts with, for example Brandon Williams at Manchester United, or even someone like Tom Davies at Everton who might not be getting so much of a game these days, the squad would be in a much better place for the coming season. So Derby do start off with a decent transfer budget of around 9 million euros. It's likely you will need to use most of this probably signing a striker as a replacement to Colin Kazim Richards, but there's plenty of those available all around the Football League. In real life, they are linked to Jeff Cott from Plymouth, who's a young player who scored a fair amount of goals this season, to be honest, so he would be a fairly good realistic pickup, as would Dembele at Peterborough and Ben Whiteman and Josh Sims at Doncaster Rovers. Derby do spend a lot of money on their youth academy. They're one of the few Category 1 teams in the whole of English football. I believe there's less than 20 of them. And current owner Mel Morris has made a focus to make sure that their academy is one of the best in the UK. It's starting to pick up steam now, although it might not be the best in the East Midlands, it's currently got a few young players that are driving Derby forwards. Last year Sibley and Bird were standout performers for Derby as they climbed up the table following a poor start, so maybe they can do it again this year. Both of them have been out of form this year and Bogle leaving for Sheffield United's left another hole in the team. Because of this, I think it's fairly justified to get a decent youth scout as Derby County. They tend to only really get English players coming through in Derby, so focus on England. They have a few Scots and a few Polish players, so again, maybe you could get a one-star scout in one of those countries. Recently, they've had a few Spanish players, but this is going back more than 5-10 years, um, so maybe that's another area you could focus on signing players from. In the transfer market, they do like to sign from the Scottish League. 
Although with Wayne Rooney in charge, they're more likely to go to the high profile Premier League teams he has contacts with such as Manchester United and Everton. So always keep an eye on Everton and Manchester United to make sure there's no good young regens that have spawned. With Rooney also having some Irish heritage, you could probably also justify signing players from Republic of Ireland too. So moving back onto the squad they have at the minute, they have Scott Malone who's a left back out on loan, they have Jack Marriott who's a striker out on loan, and they have Florian Jusevun who's a winger out on loan. In my opinion you should probably recall all three of these because they would all get in the starting 11. Currently Josiak can play attacking midfield so I'd probably put him in behind last season signing Marriott. Jusevun on the wing with Tom Lawrence, Malone, Clark, Wisdom and Byrne at the back with Shinny and Biliet covering in midfield. Marshall's a good goalkeeper, so you probably won't need an upgrade on him until he retires, possibly in the second or third season. Tactics-wise, Derby have always been a 4-2-3-1 team. They like to play possession recently, although at the start of the last decade, they did prefer a little bit of long ball. So really, you can go either way. Of course, Wayne Rooney did like to play in a 4-2-2-2 formation at Manchester United, the famous Rooney and Tevez with Park and Ronaldo on the wings. So if you want to try and recreate this kind of box formation, you could probably say it is, that's another way you could go. From his first couple of games in charge, it does seem like Rooney's continuing with the possession kind of play. So if you want to keep it fully realistic, make sure you keep playing like that. So in conclusion for Derby, you need to keep a young team because that's what they're trying to do in real life. Try to play flowing possession football because that's what they've been focusing on for the past four or five seasons. Focus on the Youth Academy because again that's something they've been focusing on since around 2016 onwards. And try and have some fun with Wayne Rooney. I mean, after a few seasons, you can be justified to do what Lampard did when he jumped ship to Chelsea. So why don't you try and get the Manchester United or Everton job? Rooney's the England top scorer as well, so you know, take over England, make them win a World Cup with Harry Kane trying to break Rooney's record. There are so many ways you can go with this, and you don't have to be stuck in the rather dismal town of Derby for the whole thing. If you did enjoy this video and you made it all the way to the end, well done. I appreciate you watching the whole thing. Um, I've put a link to my Discord in the description, so if you want to chat to me about anything, maybe you've got a team that you think is interesting enough to have a little video made on them by, then uh, feel free. I hope you see my Salzburg one that I did with someone who joined my Discord and we set it all up. So um, yeah, that's one way to get in touch if you feel like doing that. Um, feel free to subscribe as well. I do appreciate every subscription. It makes me smile, I'll be honest. But that's it for today's video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.